Pretty nuts. Um, and I don't know how uh, James O'Keefe got this information. It is the first thing that I think he has added uh, that is actually legit. Uh, did not involve uh, deceptive editing or whatnot. Um, there was a time where Harry Shearer would put out stuff like this. Uh, back in the day, people would get satellites, um, big, big satellites to get cable television. And what they would do is intercept the feed between the east and west coasts that were uh, were were sent back and forth. And so Harry Shearer had one of these dishes and he would put out these videos all the time, like people like maybe brushing their hair or, you know, like getting prepared as they sit down in the uh, the news desk. There was a whole doc called, I think it was just called Feed. And yeah. it's from the 92 campaign. And I remember actually- I have that on uh, VHS. you remember the Jerry Brown part? Frankly. I actually remember, it was hilarious. Like he's, I remember this clip of him. He's like asking for herbal tea, which is funny at that time. And then he's just like, which one are we going on? Are we, is it the real one or the bullshit one? Right. Um, and here is, um, here is this apparently uh, was uh, intercepted somehow and sent to James O'Keefe. I don't know why. You'd have to be, I don't know. You'd have to really be a nut job to, uh, to decide that James O'Keefe is the best place uh, to send this, but so be it. Um, here is Amy Robach from ABC News. She is in between segments or something, sitting at an anchor chair. You can see Times Square in the background, uh, talking to a guest who must be there. This must have happened shortly after the Epstein story broke, before he was killed, I get the sense. Oh, the August? So after he was, uh, did I say killed? I mean, committed suicide <laughs> and hey jeffrey let's help you out there whatever with, you're not feeling too good not mental sure the exact time but certainly month. after mental the, awareness month <laughs> turns into larynx awareness month after the story became uh, uh you know more prominent and here she is talking about her experience in reporting this out three years ago and how it was shut down i've had the story for three years i've had this interview with virginia roberts we would not put it on the air um, first of all, I was told, who's Jeffrey Epstein? No one knows who that is. This is a stupid story. Um, then the palace found out that we had her whole allegations about Prince Andrew and threatened us a million different ways. Um, we were so afraid we wouldn't be able to interview Kate and Will say, oh, that we that also quashed the story. Yeah. And then um, and then Alan Dershowitz was also implicated in because of the planes. She told me everything. She had pictures. She had everything. She was in hiding for 12 years. We convinced her to come out. We convinced her to talk to us. Um, it was unbelievable what we had. Clinton. We had everything. I, I tried for three years to get it on to no avail. And now it's all coming out. And it's like these new revelations. And I freaking had all of it. I, I, I'm just so pissed right now. Like every day I get more and more pissed because I'm just like, oh my God. We, it was, um, what, what we had was unreal. Other women backing it up. Hey, yep. Brad Edwards, the attorney, three years ago saying, like, aunt, like, we, there will come a day when we will realize Jeffrey Epstein was the most prolific pedophile this country has ever known. And I had it all three years ago. Um, that, that, that footage would have been just as effective without the fake heartbeat in the background that the Project Veritas put in there. But Strange That's the Veritas touch. Yeah, exactly. It's like they finally do something useful. Just, just let it roll, man. No, they need to. Well, they need to make it their own. And James so, O'Keefe is an artur. Exactly. Um, but you know, this is uh, a part of a whole. I mean, this is uh, indicative of of a problem that exists in these uh, news organizations, just like at NBC. Uh, frankly, um, with uh, everything about uh, Ronan Farrow's reporting, um, I. I I would think there's got to be an internal investigation. We're going to hear more about this. Mm -hmm. I would, I would hope. Um, I mean, I guess three years ago, people might have been like, "Who's Jeffrey Epstein?" But that's a pretty dramatic story to associate. We may not know who Jeffrey Epstein is, but you certainly know who 
uh, the Prince of uh, England is. Yeah, you I certainly mean, know who Bill Clinton is, and you certainly know all the other, um, you know, wealthy people that are involved in this. Uh, it seems to me, and Alan Dershowitz, I mean, this was a legit story that was obviously well-sourced, and ABC crushed it because, for the same reason why NBC uh, quashed Ronan uh, Farrow's reporting. And uh, I would imagine there's probably some, you know, analogous story at CBS, too, for that matter. This is a problem with a corporate media uh, and I, I mean, I think, uh, it's clear. I don't know how we would imagine, you know, we would get it in this environment. Um, but at least one public news outlet should exist. Uh, they seem to be able to manage it in, uh, in, in England. So, yeah. And if this is coming to the surface now, imagine all of the stories that we still don't know about. Of course, of course, there's probably a dozen uh, different uh, stories like this at these news outlets. So, and state-run media, you know, isn't a perfect solution because obviously the state could also squash reporting, especially on itself. But um, a- at least hypothetically, that's under democratic control. Yeah, I mean, the problem is is the same problem you get with like uh, the NEA. I mean, the, the budget gets slashed. They feel pressure not to um, to to fund things that are controversial with Southern senators or something to that effect. And uh, there's a problem. I don't know what the solution is. Maybe it's just something that's crowdsourced, but you know, again, worker owned media. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 you know, probably still subject to uh, similar problems. Maybe I don't know the power away from the oligarchs in the first place. Yeah. But in this instance, it's really just, it's not even like, I don't know if it was a question of we're quashing this because they're oligarchs or if we're quashing this because like we need access. If we want people to watch our uh, our news, we need to be able to report on the on the on the on the. I think it's all. On I, all think it's, I think it's. Over, I think it's overdetermined. If I may use an appropriate Marxist phrase, I think it is all of those things, and just even super petty, but like. Even I could write the opening package of like, you may never heard of this mysterious billionaire, but he's been in jets with Bill Clinton. Right. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, you could not only turn him not being a household name on its head, you could turn it into some type of like James Bond, exciting, oh my God thing. Exactly. Well, actually, in fact, yes, because that uh, is the real story there. In my opinion, it's definitely a CIA story. Really? Oh, yeah. Totally. All right. We'll do a uh, conspiracy corner type of thing maybe later. Um, we the should do that. We should have like some type of like conspiracy conspiracies dump. we believe in. Yes. Like yeah. once, a, once a year, we allow ourselves like, a, like a, there's got to be some. This is not being bad. There's got to be some, some type of uh, holiday where we could do that. I, I, well, there's enough with green with uh, with the Epstein that, it, 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 I, at the very least, it, it is highly grounded speculation. Shouts, yeah, well, it's, it's, shouts to true enough. It pod. exists in the realm of the parapolitical, which the, is sort of halfway between conspiracy theory and confirmed fact. I mean, look, if you were a, um, if you were a. Uh, a spy agency and you were aware that there's this pedophile who has g- world leaders and oligarchs on his airplane all the time uh, that puts him in a compromising position or compromised position. And these other people, that's basically what you're looking for. Uh, so it would almost be, let's put it this way. If he wasn't an asset for at least one or two or three intelligence agencies, they should all be fired. That's, I mean, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's, right. Wow, that's cold. But yes, but it's true. Like no, they, it's totally they, no. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. You have like, one I, job to do. If I, you can't get information from the pedophile, has files on all these important well, yeah, people. I mean, it's just blackmail. Material. What's the point? I mean, and there's is a whole bunch of useful questions. Like it was reported in the it went, after his arrest. There, like, there's this safe that has pictures of X with X. You don't hear about that anymore in the last couple of months. I mean, I, I would say that. You could take it in one very extreme direction, which frankly I'm open to, uh, or you could take it in a 
other opposite delusional direction, which is just like, yeah, this guy had a lot of friends, and yeah, you know, you don't know. Right, like just because he's a pedophile the idea, he's not a good guy to hang out with. Right, and the idea that you wouldn't see this as being like, you know, I mean, it, it takes its actual own form of delusional thinking, frankly, to just not even think, frankly, that there aren't people who engage in this type of abuse and then have the ability to do it systemically. <laughs> Right. Because they have unbelievable amounts of yep. intelligence, financial, and political power. There right. is more than a grain of truth to Pizzagate. Uh, well, Pizzagate I, is... No, Pizza... It, it, look, if I was good to go in this direction for real, I would suggest that things like Pizzagate are the disinfo to keep us from this. There's right. actually new... Real quick, I mean, they, they just put out this shocking thing, which I have to look into more, but it was like... A, a pedophile story that might have involved the FBI is something in a similar vein. And the and what you could read potentially from the documents is that part of the whole like satanic abuse scare of the 80s is people being like, let's turn this into a really bizarre. It uh, goes like, back to what I used to say about Alex, Alex Jones, Jones all the time, that if he didn't exist, then um, the uh, oligarchs and the one world uh, government and the CIA would create him.